Unlike the Xbox or even the PS4, Sony decided the PS5 would not get a web browser. And the reason for this is quite ridiculous and just not true. According to Android Authority, Sony claimed, quote, players so rarely used the web browser app on the previous PlayStation consoles, they decided that it wasn't a priority for the PS5 focusing instead on improving other user experience features. Clearly, based on the number of people actually wanting to use the web browser, it definitely should have been a feature. In fact, users would much appreciate a better version of the web browser on PS5 like Google Chrome or at least Microsoft Edge that's even offered on the Xbox. But if players not using the web browser wasn't a reason behind the removal of an already existing app, what is the actual reason? You see, every single PlayStation console up until PS5 has been fully jailbroken and exploited. This includes the PS1, PS2, PlayStation Portable, PS3, and even the recent PS4. The PS1 being Sony's very first console lacked a robust encryption feature which made it extremely easy to jailbreak. The PS2 on the other hand, despite having a much better encryption, used a memory card which was later exploited by modders. Corrupted save files could be loaded onto these memory cards tricking the PS2 into executing unauthorized code. The most popular jailbreak on the PS3 was web-based. Since the PS3 had a web browser, users could simply visit PS3 exploit and the site would execute JavaScript which would allow the jailbreak to install custom firmware onto the PS3. Similarly, the PS4 could also use web-based exploits which worked by simply visiting a website and installing a payload. So all of these jailbreaks were cutting a hole through Sony's pockets since selling consoles wasn't the only way they were generating their revenue. A massive portion of Sony's revenue is from commissions from selling games and subscription services. And the jailbreak allowed users to get these games and subscriptions for free. So Sony decided that they should completely get rid of the web browser on the PS5 and surprisingly it wasn't a bad decision after all because the PS5 is the only console that has not yet seen a complete jailbreak since its launch making it the only console that is supposedly jailbreak free in the history of PlayStation consoles. However, there are still millions of PlayStation users that want to access web browser and I'm happy to tell you that there are still ways in which you can access web browsing on your PS5. Head over to settings, then navigate to system and scroll all the way down till you find web browser. Here you need to make sure that you enable JavaScript as this enables more features on the PS5 web browser. I also like to enable the prevent cross tracking feature as it's just better for your privacy. Now go back and head over to accessibility and under display and sound settings just make sure you enable zoom if you want to use your PS5 web browser on a full screen mode. Now go all the way back to the main screen just head over to one of your buddies chat And here, you're just gonna type in the URL for Google and make sure you type in the URL code for the country that you are in. Since I'm in Canada, I'm gonna be typing in google.ca. And that's instantly gonna give you a clickable URL. And once you press X on the URL, it's gonna take you straight to the web browser. Now hold on guys, you don't have to use the web browser like this and you can zoom in and even use it on full screen if you like. To do just that, press the PlayStation button on your controller, then press square to get a full screen mode for your web browser.